September. Over in Europe, stocks also moving uh, at the moment higher. Lindsay Janice is in our London newsroom. She has been uh, tracking how the upcoming jobs report is affecting trade. Lindsay. That's right. Good morning, DJ. European stock markets also making modest gains this morning after yesterday's intense sell-off here. But shares have been fluctuating this morning ahead of that jobs report. Most investors are awaiting that number with trepidation. A trader that we spoke with this morning called it one of the highest profile non-farm payroll reports ever because it follows an endless slew of grim news and the markets, of course, are under severe distress. Take a look at the markets here. You can see uh, the FTSE up 1%, the DAX up a half of a percent and the CAC up a fifth of a percent. Take a look at the Dow Jones stock 600 of Europe's biggest companies as well. Even with uh, Wednesday's rally, this index is down six and a half percent so far for the week. You can see it's uh, making small gains today. In terms of industry groups leading the gains today, we've got oil companies. Crude is rising, as you just saw, on signs that OPEC cuts are kicking in. The London market's uh, getting an extra boost from Royal Dutch Shell and also BP. Autos and basic resources are also gaining. But on the flip side, we've got technology and banks falling. Uh, now, there's one bank I want to talk about today in particular. The UK government may be about to take control of yet another British institution. According to the Financial Times and the BBC, Lloyds Bank is in negotiations with officials that could see the state increase at stake from 43% to 60 or 70%. You can see Lloyd's shares are rising today, uh, but they have lost uh, around 30% uh, over the past week. Deirdre, back Lindsay, to you. Thanks very much. Lindsay Janice there for us from London.